good morning everybody so we are up on the Lido deck right now we are getting ready to have breakfast and I both of us are getting breakfast burritos from um, Iguana Cantina and I know that they're gonna be really really good um, already did a ship tour this morning and I will be linking that down in the description so just waiting for Cindy to come to the table with her breakfast burrito Talk to you soon. Well, we have finished breakfast, and now we are going to go to the Patch's Pumpkin Hunt. Since Cindy's maiden name is Patch, it's only appropriate that we go to Patch's Pumpkin Hunt. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're gonna go try and find some pumpkins at the Patch's Pumpkin Hunt. We are getting ready to go do the Patches pumpkin hunt. So here we go. Let's go find all 12 pumpkins and win. Here we go. So we found our first pumpkin in the alchemy bar. And there it is right there. Pumpkin number one found. So we found pumpkin number two, which is right there. Here's pumpkin number three, but it's the second one we found. And that is in the Metropolis lobby, also known as the Atrium Bar. So we found two out of ten. So we found one in Java Blue Cafe. Number five. So we found another pumpkin. This is pumpkin number 11. Even though it's not the 11th one we found, it's pumpkin number 11. And it is at the Sam's Piano Bar. And it's right there. So we found pumpkin number two. We had did have help uh, at Pixels. And they have it right there. Pumpkin number two. And this is Pixels where I showed that on the uh, ship tour, but they didn't have the pictures out. All the pictures that you take uh, on the ship and you can pick them out. Okay, we found pumpkin number 10 at Pizza, or at Pizza Pirate. Right there. Well, we found pumpkin number eight at the blue and up there. Thank you. All right, so this is the Red Frog Rum Bar. Red Frog Rum Bar. How are you guys doing today? Wonderful, man. Wonderful, awesome. wonderful, wonderful. Yeah, you guys have a wonderful day. You too, brother. Thanks. So as we are doing our pumpkin hunt, we found this little forward deck which is right off of the spa area and we can come out here oh there they are there there's some dolphins down there if you can see them Very cool. So this is from the same deck and we are able to shoot down the side of the ship of the Carnival of Miracle. So we have been walking around for almost two hours trying to find these 12 pumpkins and we have found nine. We are looking for the last three, but we have not been able to find them, and we have walked this complete ship. So they definitely have them hidden well. But we'll keep looking. So hopefully we'll find the other three. Fingers crossed. So we are gonna go play some shuffleboard now. Let's see who wins on this one.
Cindy won that one. So we'll see what happens if we play again. But I'm gracefully going down to defeat. So we just got a notification. We noticed that our ship was circling and we were just told that there was a vessel that was in trouble that we were circling so we could get the information or the captain get the information to notify the San Diego Coast Guard. And as we're coming around, there is a vessel, a little skip that is actually upside down. just sitting out here on the serenity deck right now just relaxing lounging you know it's overcast but the weather is not that bad anyways for us from Washington it's not that bad people from Texas and warmer climates it may be cold for you but for us it's actually not that bad it kind of feels like it does back home around it's probably around 60 degrees or so right now well that was a hard fought battle but we finally found the last three pumpkins one of them was in mad hatter room which is where they do the comedy club and they do other shows there that was a hard one that was on the um in the dj booth but it had fallen down on the floor but we got that one then the other one was in front street which is the jewelry store in one of the uh cases and then the last one was at Carnival Adventure, which is the short excursion desk. And that one was up on a camera. Very, very sneaky, those last three. Little known fact about cruising. It makes your husband's desire to iron. Another little known fact is on each ship on multiple decks, they have laundry rooms. Laundry rooms, usually uh, two to four um, washers, dryers. They have ironing boards um, and laundry detergent, so you can do your own laundry, or they also uh, have laundry sacks in your room. You can send your laundry out to be done. Either way, I kind of like the, the husband option. It's working for us. <laughs> and another known fact that if a husband does it long enough the wrong way, the wife will take over and iron his clothes for him. <laughs> there you go. It's our secret. Okay, we are all set and we are gonna go down to get ready to have a steak dinner or fish. We're going to the steakhouse. Here we go. So we've gotten our table. We are in the steakhouse, which is really cool. It's called Nick and Nora's. And um, it's actually inside of the uh, a whale tail of the ship, which is really cool. We are on one of the outside tables. And this is the view that we are getting during our dinner. And so we're getting a really nice view. There's Cindy, and we are getting ready to have our dinner. Cindy's probably going to get seafood, and I don't know what I'm going to get yet. We'll take a look at the menu, but we're really looking forward to this. Talk to you soon. So I just wanted to show you, this is Nick and Nora's Steakhouse, and it is in the whale tail, and it is very cool. And you have the atrium all the way down there. Very nice thick house. So we just got our dinner here, and I got the filet mignon along with the baked potato. And Cindy got colossal shrimp. Colossal shrimp with the mushrooms. With mushrooms. This looks fantastic. When we came back into our room, we had this gift, and this is from the cruise director 
on the Carnival Miracle. We actually are going to be doing a interview with her tomorrow, which we'll be posting as a separate video. But we came into our room and we had chocolate strawberries and a ship on a stick and a note from Savannah, the cruise director. This is too, too awesome. Thank you, Savannah. Thank you very, very much. Carnival has the best cruise directors in the cruise industry. Okay, well, we've got a monkey right there in our room. Cute little guy. But anyways, we are going to be um, transforming into our costume. We haven't told anyone what we're doing. So we are going to be transforming into our costume right after this. Here we are. Hello. This is our Halloween costumes. What do you think? I think we gained a few pounds on this cruise. We gained a few pounds. <laughs> All right, we're off to the Halloween party on the Carnival Miracle. at the Halloween party. Well, good evening, everybody. And we are ending out this today's vlog. And it was a wonderful day. This was a day at sea, which really are our favorite days. Uh, it was very relaxing. Uh, one thing that did happen, which was part of the vlog you saw, was that um, the captain and the crew had noticed a boat um, capsized. capsized out. So we circled around just to see if there was anything that could be done. Um, didn't see anybody. They did see a life jacket a little ways away from the boat but nothing really could be done. They did call the Coast Guard, so the Coast Guard was gonna come out to uh, investigate further. But I'll tell you, to have a, a you know, large uh, cruise ship like that, to take the time to circle around when they see a disabled boat to see if there's anything they could do was absolutely fantastic. And I really commend Carnival for doing that and the captain for doing that on the Carnival Miracle. That was awesome. And then we had the, uh, we did the uh, pumpkin hunt and that was a lot of fun. Thanks to our friends who helped us. Yes, thank you, <laughs> you very much. You know who you are. <laughs> we uh, we, we uh, had to have some help. We did, we but we did, <laughs> we did get all 12, but we did need to have a little bit of help. Had some hints. But it was awesome, it was a lot of fun. And then we have the Halloween party oh contest and everything gosh. tonight, which was a blast. 
it's really cool um, when you know the community on the ship comes together there was a great vibe there was dancing there was just appreciation of all the creativity the cool costumes everybody was into it it was either you were dancing or you were watching the dancing you were dressed up or you were enjoying people who were dressed up it was a really cool vibe thanks carnival for putting that together so you can kind of feel a community around the holiday absolutely we just had a fantastic time steakhouse was fantastic again the food was just outstanding the atmosphere was great the view that we had was fantastic so it was an awesome time so we had a great day today and we will talk to you guys soon happy travels see you out there